Hello, my name is Dark Wolfheart, and welcome to today's video where uh, I have been to CEX and I've picked up some, uh, in brackets, new games. Uh, so uh, we'll take a look at the ones. Not going to be a long video. Picked up about what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 games. So uh, let's roll right into it. First one I picked up. Oh, I don't know which one I picked up first, but the first one we're looking at anyway. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda. Not the best one in the series, uh, but it's the only one that I was missing. Um, I believe everybody knows Mass Effect. Basically the death of Bioware by now. Uh, I mean, everybody had a really good laugh when this came out with all the cutscenes and all the people looking a bit googly-eyed, should I say the least. Um, but yeah, for four quid. I'm not going to go very far wrong with that. Next up, a uh, decent enough RPG. Played it back in the day. I rented it from Blockbusters, if anybody remembers what that is. White Knight Chronicles. So you played as the hero. I can't remember anybody's name or anything like that. And uh, you could turn into this White Knight uh, every now and again. Um, decent enough RPG. Uh, haven't really got anything else to say about it. It's made by Level 5. And remember those guys? They made some pretty good games back in the day. Um, they're not around anymore, are they? I don't know, as far as I remember. But yep, they did make Rogue Galaxy. Uh, <coughs> Rogue Galaxy. And they also made the Rogue Squadron games as well. Uh, so, like I say, nice and cheap, so you can't go too wrong. Dead Island, if you like zombies, uh, you may probably know what this is. Um, you're on an, a dead island. You're on an island, and you're surrounded by the dead. Wow. And then you got built bases. I never actually played this one back in the day, but like I say, can't go wrong with a cheap game. Uh, this one was very cheap for me to buy this, so uh, do forgive me. Duke Nukem Forever, the game which took, what was it, 12 years to make? And it eventually came out, and uh, it was one of the worst games in the world. The list one of the worst games in the world, as far as I know. I haven't played it yet, so I uh, can't quite say, but pretty much everybody's saying it's quite awful. Uh, I think it costs £1.50, so not going to lose sleep over that one. This one's a classic open world. Um, it was recently destroyed, of course, because uh, that's what they do with computer games nowadays. They're going to destroy them all. St. Rose III, uh, I have to actually say, I've never played any of the St. Rose before, none of them, uh, but I have heard this is very good. This does not include the DLC, which you can see on the front here. Uh, so yeah, open world like GTA, a bit more m manic. Uh, you can go around with certain weapons and uh, hit people with it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you have played the game. Uh, so yeah, not too bad, right going into the PS2 games. So another game that I've wanted to play but I have never played. Beyond Good and Evil by Ubisoft. Uh, so you play as the girl and you go around levels. I can't remember exactly what you do. I believe there's a different type of gameplay all the way throughout the game. Uh, people recommend it and they say it's good. I'm going to probably buy it eventually for the PC. Uh, yeah. Why not? Next one, I've shown this off on PSP, but it was cheap, so I decided to pick up anyway. Uh, the next few ones are a bit like this, actually. Uh, one of the best trilogies of all time. And if you're thinking of the brand new Star Wars, um, yeah, the, 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 they're rubbish. Uh, but anyway, Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. So this is like an RTS, yes, real-time strategy game. Uh, mixed with turn-based gameplay. Can't fully remember. I've probably said it in the PSP as well. I've probably said exactly the same thing. I can't fully remember. Uh, but yeah, cheap and cheerful. Third age. And then the next one is a speedrunner's dream. The Hobbit. The prelude to the Lord of the Rings. Uh, starring your Bilbo Baggins there. Looking at all uh, 2000 CGI. Early 2000 CGI. Yeah, it's just a simple platforming, you know, simple action platformer, should I say, where you just go around uh, uh, defeating enemies and all that, and get to the end of the level, get to the end of the game. So, never played it. Will it be quite good? 
And then another one I've picked up, because a trilogy has got to have three of them, of course. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. Now, I don't remember ever hearing of this one before. Uh, so I don't know exactly what it's about at all, or gameplay-wise, I don't know what it's about at all. Uh, but it says you can fight through hordes of enemies, Aragorn, Gandalf, or unleash stealth, cunning, and the one ring of Frodo. So I might look it up later on, um, see what people said about it back in the day. But yeah, it was quite interesting to uh, pick this one up. Next is a spin-off of one of my favorite Capcom series of all time. And no, we're not talking about Resident Evil. We are talking about Dino Crisis. Dino Stalker for the PS2. So, <clears throat> the same thing they did with Resident Evil Survivor, uh, they did with Dino Crisis. Not that many people know it. So, this is set in the same world as Dino Crisis. Apart from it's a light gun game. Um, I can't remember what people said back in the day. Uh, however good it was. or You got free roaming gameplay. Does that sound exciting enough for you? But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to give this one a go anyway, because I'm quite interested. It's got dinosaurs in it. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Uh, and uh, see what it's like. Last one for the PS2, uh, which I managed to pick up. Dudekun 5. Very good um, condition of the box. Has all the manual in and everything, thankfully. Because this one was a little tiny bit more expensive. Uh, I don't need that anymore. They are to show you the inside. It's Sudokan 5, part of a very famous series of uh, RPGs, which I've never actually played in my life. Uh, so I was glad to pick this one up and give it a shot sometime. Uh, like I say, it was in a very nice package. It's all well and kept, so I can't complain. And speaking of uh, spin-off, like I just said about the Dino Crisis, I did manage to pick up Resident Evil Survivor. Not the best Resident Evil game in the world, very close to the worst Resident Evil game in the world, actually. So, yeah. It's a light gun game. Can you see those graphics? Ooh. Look at that reflection, even. Uh, so, yeah. Still a bit of fun. Can't go wrong when it's a cheap game. I say cheap game. It wasn't quite so cheap. Uh, but it wasn't back-breaking. Should I say bank-breaking, really? Uh, but, yeah. Those are some good games uh, that I picked up today. So uh, that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You know, like and subscribe and all that. I have been Dark Wolf up. And I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.